Today we're going to do something a little different, uh, something that we haven't done a lot of. I think uh, maybe one or two other instances, a uh, fire pit and something else I don't remember. Check out the channel for that. The kind folks at Halo View were nice enough to send us this backup camera system. Uh, so today I'm going to unbox it, uh, do a temporary installation because I already have a hardwired uh, camera system in our coach and I don't want to splice into that and uh, create any problems that uh, I can't get out of. Our Voyager system, it's an old system, black and white, uh, it's got a cathode ray tube uh, monitor, you know, pretty low quality uh, black and white cameras. So this system I think would be an awesome uh, upgrade, uh, however it is wireless and uh, I don't want to put a wireless system in our, in our rig, but uh, for those who have like fifth wheels and things like that, this would be an awesome addition to your rig. Uh, so without further ado, let's do an unboxing and a uh, temporary install and review of the system. So Halo sent me the 7-inch 720p wireless monitor camera system. And claim to fame is that it has 984 feet of range, which is awesome. This is a 2.4 gigahertz system, so you get a longer range with, uh, with that frequency. It's got a panel resolution of uh, 1024 by 600. It has video recording, and I'd be interested to find out if you can record on all four cameras at the same time. That would be awesome. And it also has uh, infrared LEDs for night vision. Now on uh, the other side, it has package contents. It has a support bracket for the monitor, a sun shield for the monitor, angle adjustment screws, a center mount bracket. I'll show you that. That's pretty cool. Uh, power cables and a user manual for those of us who are directionally challenged. Okay, so uh, open up the box. First thing are uh, camera specifications, which we'll get into in a minute, and also the user manual, which uh, obviously is going to be pretty important for us to use for the installation. Uh, in this installation I'm just going to do a temporary install because I don't want to hack into and splice my existing cables. So again I think uh, packaging is pretty good. It's got foam inserts that uh, seem to hold everything pretty nicely. So we'll start taking these things out. It's like this is a magnetic uh, camera mount. And here's the camera. like it's uh, pretty well put together here in the box so I'll have to take that apart at any rate um, it's got a lot of heft to it and it comes with a connector what I like about that it's a twist lock connector so it doesn't just plug in where it could rattle you know or shake loose it actually is a physical twist lock and makes that nice and sturdy Again, that's a 12 volt power supply. So, in this case, what I'm going to do is just run a 12 volt power supply to power the camera. And um, the monitor actually has a plug that plugs into a cigarette lighter, so we can utilize that. And here's this mount. This is really cool. It's sort of an articulating mount that will uh, take many shapes. Uh, so, if you're flat, that's one thing. But if you have a curved surface and you need to adhere this on the curved surface, you can certainly do that. All right, here's the monitor. This is an awesome, awesome sized monitor. Just about as big as the Voyager that we have in our coach. This is a little bit more rectangle than what we have, but uh, certainly a nice size. Good feel to it. Good quality feel to the plastic. Does have an SD card slot for recording. Again, I really would like to see if you can record uh, all four camera quadrants at once or whether it just records one section at a time. I have a feeling it will record all at once if you have uh, the selection of all four cameras or the quad cameras in place. Good feel, good, good tactile response on the buttons. I think it's probably pretty typical. Feels a little hollow, uh, but not too bad. Again, nice quality matte finish on the monitor which is awesome for uh, reducing sun glare and uh, then we have a looks like a, a seven eight pin connector 
doesn't appear to have the locking connector that the backup camera connector has, but again, this will be on the interior, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And it looks like in this section we have uh, all of the antennas. This most likely would be for the camera, or for the monitor rather, and then the smaller one for the camera. Again, they're both articulating. Yeah, it looks like we have a hardwire option here if you want to uh, hardwire uh, the system into your existing camera system. And uh, this does have trigger uh, wires. For instance, on ours, we have left and right uh, turn signal cameras. So when I turn the turn signal on, left camera will work, and then the other, the right camera will work. So these are wired so that you can hook up to those uh, triggers. And here's the portable 12 volt power supply with an on off switch. And uh, here is the connector that goes on the monitor, which then plugs into the 12 volt connector and then into a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter or power receptacle. So I think that's pretty well thought out. And in the bottom here we have some miscellaneous hardware and then also a sun shield. So the last thing, uh, if you want to connect this to your display, if you have uh, you know, issues with um, you know, glare or something in your rig, you can certainly connect that for a, for a sun shield. Well, it fits well. That's really a nice, a nice feature, I think. So we're in the cockpit of the coach, and this is a Voyager camera system that's installed. And as I said earlier, it's black and white, and you know, pretty low resolution. And uh, you know, it's 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 decent. When the turn signals are on, it uh, you know switches to that particular camera. Uh, but again, I use it mainly here in the re in the rear view mode. Uh, so normally the Jeep is hooked up there, obviously, and I can kind of see what the Jeep's doing. Um, so that compared to you know this uh, really cool looking halo view here uh, just about the same size in terms of overall size it'd be awesome if i could find a mount that would mount this you know in place of uh, you know that old monitor and then be able to you know uh, retrofit this that would be really really cool okay so i wanted to give you a side by side comparison of the 720p halo view monitor and the CRT version of the Voyager black and white system that I have installed in our rig. And as you can see, um, that sort of that grayish black band is pretty typical of um, CRT, so nothing I can really do about that. It transfers over uh, on camera. But uh, night and day difference, I can get rid of a little bit there. You can see quality, obviously grayscale versus the much higher definition of this color monitor. So that is a big, big plus. Okay, even though the uh, installation on our motorhome was going to be uh, kind of in invasive in a way, because I didn't want to splice into uh, wiring harnesses and everything else, I decided to go ahead and put this um, rear-facing camera on our Jeep since we towed this behind the motorhome. Super simple to mount this, by the way, with the magnetic um, mount that goes on here so I'll be sure to take this off you know when we stop and um, you know park for the night or whatever so that it doesn't grow legs and walk off but inside here what I did is I wired up a 12 volt plug to the power cable that goes to the camera that then gets plugged right in to this 12 volt socket and when we're underway this kind of gets tucked up and something like that nice and neat Pretty simple. So I thought that would be kind of a good addition and a good test um, to see really what the uh, the system is capable of when we're on the road uh, because the rear camera is up here, right there, this part of the Voyager system, uh, basically just looks down upon the uh, tow vehicle and doesn't really get any of the roadway behind it. So I think maybe the rearward facing uh, view off the back of the Jeep will be kind of cool. You can see uh, things coming up behind us, uh, I think, rather easily. Okay, so I'm outside doing an audio check on the microphone.
front of the camera. And I think, as you can tell, it does a pretty good job. Also, the 720p screen is awesome, super good clarity, and I really like the distance markers on the screen as well. Two thumbs up. Right, so this is where I have the monitor mounted uh, on the dash on the left side of the, the cockpit here. And uh, you can see the view out of the back of the Jeep. It's pretty awesome. Nice and clear and crisp. And um, let's see what Wi-Fi signal is. Wi-Fi signal, again, it's about 40 feet away. Uh, two bars. Not bad. I think it'll be a little bit better once I have it hooked up to the motor home. Probably get a little better signal. But anyway, two bars seems to be uh, good enough. And uh, yeah, I'd be anxious to see what this thing looks like uh, tooling down the road. So one thing I really like about this system is that the monitor and the cameras pair and sync automatically. So if you turn the power off to either one, as soon as the power comes on, they find each other and you have signal right away. So, you know, I took, turned the power off to the camera outside and I just actually disconnected this power. Uh, turned them both back on and they found each other and synced up. So that's an awesome feature. So this is uh, sort of my view out the front windshield. Of course, uh, it's a little bit truncated for the camera, but anyway, as I'm driving down the road, I have the rear view monitor camera on the Jeep there. And then here, uh, when it's on, I have the monitor to the uh, rear view camera and side cameras of the coach. So basically, you know, I like to try to keep things within line of sight as much as possible. So driving down the road, obviously this is not too far out of line of sight. There's my GPS pretty close to line of sight. And then the other monitor right there pretty close. So anyway, I think it works out pretty good. Oh, and my tire pressure monitor right there. So that's uh, in line of, kind of in line of sight. I have to look down a little bit, but not terrible. Okay, so my scoring system uh, is pretty simple. It's either going to be one thumbs up or two thumbs up. Uh, so let's go with overall first impressions of the system. I think definitely two thumbs up. Uh, quality of the components, definitely two thumbs up. The screen is awesome. Audio capture, video capture is awesome. Uh, ease of installation, based on the instructions and based on the way most rigs come these days, unless you have a much older rig that's not pre-wired um, for power, I think it would be a pretty easy install. Uh, even then, if it wasn't pre-wired, it wouldn't be too terribly difficult. So I say two thumbs up for the ease of installation. Uh, definitely two thumbs up for the Halo View MC7108 7-inch camera system uh, by Halo View. Awesome product. And uh, hey, if you liked the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments. If there's anything I didn't cover, which I'm sure there's a lot that I didn't cover. Again, this was just a brief uh, unboxing and quick installation overview. Um, and uh, it wasn't intended, again, to be a, a super in-depth uh, installation review. So anyway, uh, let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do so. And uh, there'll be more of these installation videos uh, and review videos coming along. So uh, join in on that. And until next time, we'll see you.